Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and we are going to get ourselves some eggs. Uh, not in the same sense of actually going and getting the eggs, but we're going to do something amazing. So if you like programming, and if you like uh, reverse engineering stuff, and if you like seeing code, this is the video for you. Stay tuned, and I'm going to show you how to get it done. Okay, so um, the Egg Hunt 2020 is going on right now. And I just haven't had time to like get into it and actually start making videos, blah, blah, blah. Long story short, here is the Agent of Eggs. Grand prize is right here. Uh, if you get all 49 of the missions, you get the Developer's Eggs, the Star Eggs, the Eggman Eggs, which are, are amazing. This right here, okay, <clears throat> the gadget, the egg phone. You need to go and get this. So click on the get, and it will jump you over here. Um, I have already gotten it right here. Item is owned. You have this big get button on it. Make sure you click on it. Make sure you have it in your inventory. Go over to your avatar and pop that bad boy on. Okay. Why does it keep going up there? I don't want that. Get out of there. So right here, Eggman or egg phone. Eggman. <laughs> Sonic. No, uh, the egg phone. Make sure that you have it on. And we're going to go over here to um, create. All right. I've already started on one right here. This is what was me experimenting with it earlier uh, this week. Anyhow, right here, create a new game. We're gonna do base plate, and um, do we need to add anything? Basic settings? We're just gonna call this uh, egg stuff. Mm, description for the video, uh, for the YouTube uh, access. Okay, right here, we're gonna do console. Yep, I agree to the contracts and all that good stuff. Um, fill each server as much as possible. I'm going to, I'm going to give you guys like a hundred people possible. That's, that's a, that's a pretty big, hold on, get the music up a little bit. There you go. That's a pretty big, everyone can access. We're not going to allow private servers because we don't need them. Uh, and then advanced settings over here. We are going to select navigation because if you look right here, this item, oh, where is it? Inventories. Where's the egg phone, egg phone, egg phone. Oh, it's not going to show up, is it? Um, where's the hand? Accessories? Is it accessories? Accessories. Front, neck, hair, face, shoulder, front, waist, animations, badges, decals, emotes, faces, game passes, gear. Is it under gear? There it is. Under gear, egg phone, right there. And it is a navigation tool. Okay, so when you're creating a game, if you allow navigation, this phone can go into the game. Uh, I'm absolutely going to allow you to copy this if you want. And we're going to go create game. Uh, as soon as this gets done and it pulls up, then, um, oh, sorry. You have to go into edit. There we go. I'm going to let this load. Be right back. There we go. So um, studio is up and running, ready to go. If I just hit F5 straight away, jump into the game, we're going to get some errors because of that, that phone right here. Boom. Uh, request a model experience some errors while loading. Uh, tool equipped function. That stuff is all good. Um, there were some others. Hold on. Let's expand this up. Um, player, code primate backpack, local script, egg phone, data, nine, egg phone, egg folder is not found in replicated storage. So if we go to the actual like place where it's found, um, the error, as you can see right here, says... Uh, if not egg folder, then egg folder is not in replicated storage. Egg folder equals game dot get service replicated storage find first child egg folder. So what we want to do is we're going to copy that name right there, egg folder. I'm going to hit stop, and I'm going to go over here to replicated uh, storage. I'm going to hit the plus. I'm going to add a folder. Boom, and we're just going to call this egg folder, just like that. Hit F5 again. We now have a folder in replicated storage that is supposed to hold stuff, but we're gonna get another error. Egg one is not a valid member of folder. So if we go here, oh my gosh, what is this? What is this thing right here? Local egg equals, and then it gives us an array of the egg names, their asset IDs, the egg folder dot egg one, uh, the egg mission. So right there is our egg developer. That's from the developer's egg. This is the Star Creators Program Egg, uh, Star Influencers. And this is the Egg Electrifying Eggman of 2020. So this is the Admin Egg. Uh, and then everything else, it comes from an actual game. So like Adopt Me Chick, uh, Detective W. Wolf, Egg Hearts. That is an amazing list to have. Hmm, we should be able to do something with that. But it told us that we couldn't find the egg, right? So it doesn't know where the egg is. So. 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to just take this entire thing of local eggs. I'm going to copy it. Just like that. We're going to hit stop. I'm going to go into workspace. We're going to create a new script. We're just going to call this egg gen. This is going to be my generator to create the eggs. Did it get louder for some reason? Sounds like the music's overpowering me. Hold on, let me bring that down some. That way I can get in close here and you can hear my voice. Okay, so um, we need to create the egg folder. So local egg folder equals game dot replicated storage. Uh, no, 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 no. Get service replicated storage dot egg folder. There we go. So the egg folder is now there. So if we paste this, it says that the egg model is supposed to be an egg folder, egg 52, blah, 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 right? That's going to break. If I try to do that, it it's, doesn't know what it is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create some fake eggs. Um, and if we look, egg one, all the way down to egg 52, egg 52. Oh, 53. So, go back up here to the top, and I'm gonna say uh, for x equals one comma 53 comma by one do. So what this is, this is a loop that says, hey, I want x to represent the numbers one through 53, count it every single time, and count it by one. So, uh, we're going to say uh, local fake egg equals uh, instance dot new model. And then I'm going to say fake egg dot name equals egg space dot dot x. So egg one through whatever. And I'm going to say fake egg dot parent is going to be the egg folder. What this will do, this will create a bunch of fake eggs over here in our replicated storage. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Boom, just like that. And if we go and look in replicated storage, I didn't get any errors over here. We can see fake eggs all right there. Now they're, they're not actually anything, they're just a model called that. But it's now there, which causes our script not to fail. So now we have a list of all these beautiful eggs. And down here at the bottom is where we're going to do our little funness. Um, by the way, you can collapse uh, sections of code by clicking these little arrows over here. So like this for loop, I can just close that down if I want. Um, be sure to keep an eye out for those. Mm, excuse me, a little bit of indigestion. <clears throat> If you came here for some lumber and you thought that, the, that like this wasn't going to be cooler than that, oh my gosh, you are in for a surprise. <clears throat> okay, hold on, hold on. Why did it uncollapse? Is it because I hit enter on it? I bet it is. There we go. So we're skipping. We're skipping like three hundred lines here. Um, and we're going to say for i comma e no i comma o index an object in um, eggs. No, I pairs. Eggs do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place, let's see, um, we're going to add a new folder. New folder. And we're going to call this folder. What is that? Oh, hit stop. Sorry, 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 sorry. Got to hit stop first. We're going to create a new folder in here. We're just going to call this folder. Uh, real eggs, just like that. And we're gonna go for I, O, and eggs, do. Um, and we need to pull, okay, hold on. Is it L, S, S, L? Equals game, get service. Um, Hold up. Why why am I losing track of time here? What what am I missing? Hang tight. I got to go find out I I got I got to remember what it was I put in my script. Um basically we're going to res in all the eggs. Hold on. Oh wait, that's not a pause button. Okay, there it was. Um it is the load asset with insert service. So, 
um, I was close with SL, but it's insert service. So it's going to be IS. It's going to be get service insert service. And then the function is actually uh, load asset. So for I comma O, um, we are going to say local new egg equals IS load asset. And then it should be O dot Hold on, I gotta expand that out. Asset ID. So every single one of these has asset ID in it. So, should be asset ID, like that. Asset ID. No, 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 no. Load asset ID, O dot. And then, actually, could we just do this? Oh, dot asset ID. I think that would work. Maybe it could work, possibly. And then we can say new egg dot parent equals. Uh, and we need to declare our real eggs, which is uh, real eggs equals game dot get service replicated storage dot real eggs just like that <laughs> and parent equals real eggs f5 this should create the real eggs so let's go take a look at replicated storage look inside real eggs Sure enough, there they are. So if we take one of these and we move it into the workspace, you can see, hey, look, it's an egg head. We're going to do that with another one. Hold on, scroll up, workspace. Oh, and then there's the, uh, the boat egg. So we now have eggs. We have a real set of eggs. But uh, we're going to need some more information. We don't just want to insert the egg because um, there's going to be information. Like we want all the information that's inside this, which isn't real. It's just script at the moment. And we want to put those values into the actual thing. So right now it's just called model. So let's say new egg dot name equals... Um, o dot egg name new egg dot <laughs> hold on hold on no it's not dot egg name we we want it to be called the actual egg number ooh okay so Wait, 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 what if we did this? Um, I dot dot, no, I is gonna be the index of numbers. So, egg dot dot, I. That way it corresponds with the two. Uh, so let's take a quick look here. Egg one is supposed to be the egg developer egg, and egg two is the star, egg three is the admin. So. One, two, and three are what we're going to be looking for. Just make sure that these are the correct ones. Go to the real eggs. Egg one, what is this? That is the egg developer. Egg two, come on, go up, up, see, up, see, up, see, up, see, up. Egg two, is that the star, star egg? I think that's the star's egg. And egg three should be the admin egg. Booyah, look at that. Okay, I think that's right. Is that right? I think. Oh, I didn't realize that they are, they are, um, <laughs> they're physical. <laughs> nice. All right, we're gonna have to fix those too. So there's the three eggs, the, the developer's egg, the star egg, and the admin egg, right? Right, good. Okay, so we have the correct egg names with the correct things so now we are going to put in here, uh, and be careful with this because uh, the first three have egg mission, 
okay? Which is just a, a quick thing, uh, a quick description of how to get the egg. The next ones are game name, and they don't have an egg mission. So what we're going to do is for each one of the children, we're going to get the children of it, create a string, add the string, name the string that, and set the value of the string to the thing that this is. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so <clears throat> we're going to say egg name equals, uh, sorry, we gotta do local. Local egg name equals instance dot new uh, string value egg name dot value equals dot value equals o dot hmm okay oh wait 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 for for x equals no that's not gonna work right hold on let's do this for um egg x equals one no that doesn't that's not right either for i comma o and i pairs uh o colon get children do print i comma o so this should do it for each egg and then we're just going to do print space this way there's a there's a little bit of a break in between the eggs. That's gonna be a lot of stuff to, to print out, isn't it? Okay. Egg gen. What did we do? Get children. Children, children, get children. Oh. Hmm. We might not be able to do that because O is for I comma O. <laughs> okay, so for key, and we can't call it object, uh, key of thing uh, in pairs O children, we're going to print key and print thing. That'll work. Oh, stop, 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 and play. That did not work. Called a nil value. That's fine. Um, let's do this. Uh, this one does not have a game name. So we're just going to copy this down. We're going to standardize all these so they're, they're the same thing. Uh, this one right here, the Fabergé egg, uh, we're just going to say unknown. Just like that. Actually, no parentheses. Take that out. Same thing with the, the top three eggs. Uh, we're going to change this egg mission to game. And from developer, do the same thing with this one right here. From star. And with the last one, from admin. Okay, that way we have standard uh, things in each one. We have four assets, or sorry, we have four values inside the, um, the egg itself, which is all of these. Okay, and that standardizes them. So that way we don't have to worry about this, and I can go back to what I was doing in the first place. So, uh, local egg name equals uh, o dot egg name no <laughs> equals instance dot new string value and then uh, egg name dot parent equals o egg name dot name equals paste o dot egg name <laughs> so uh, that it that will egg name dot value 
equals o dot egg name. That should work, I think. We don't need to set the parent right there, but we could if we wanted to. So that's just for the egg name itself. Wow, that's a lot of code. Okay, copy. And we're actually going to... Okay, let's keep them all separate. That way it's not going to confuse me. Copy, paste, 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 paste. So this first one, egg name, it's going to be asset ID. Is it capital D or a little d? It's a little d. So little d equals instance dot new int value. Uh, and we can take this asset ID, paste, paste, paste. The asset ID is going to be called asset ID. Uh, can we do two string or no, can we do uh, two string like this? That way we can set the name and then the value we're going to just say like this. That should fix that. Next is going to be the egg model, which we don't really need because the egg model itself is there, but we're going to go ahead and create the string value just in case. And paste, and paste, and paste, 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 just like that. And then what's the last one? The game name, copy, same thing here. Game name, game name, game name, game name, game name, game name. So when we create the model, boop, don't break. Please don't break. Oh, we broke. <laughs> okay, object expected and got table. We're at. Oh, <laughs> oh, egg name dot parent equals O. Right. Oh, equals new egg. Oh gosh. That means all of these are wrong. New egg, new egg, not sponsored. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. These were right. O and O. Okay, so we want the parent to become the new egg, which is the object that we just created up above, but we want the values to come from the object that we're looping through right now. So the name and the value. So new egg, asset, asset, new egg, asset, asset, new egg, asset, asset, or variable, variable. I shouldn't be saying asset. It's going to confuse you guys. Here we go. What happened? String expected got object. What value? Oh. Egg model dot value. Egg model. Okay. Two string. We'll just do the same thing like that. Oh, stop. Play. Fingers crossed. Don't break. Broke again. Oh, same thing. Two string. Stop. Play. Please don't break. Yay. There we go. Okay, so now we should have a bunch of string values inside the replicated storage, inside the real eggs that we uh, replicated just now. So right here are all of our string values and our int values of all the awesomeness. Um, for, from developers, yes, yes. It's amazing, that is awesome. So if we actually take all of these, actually, no, we don't, we don't even wanna do that because I'm going to set these all up, all out here so we can see them. Um, let's go here. Um, okay. So real eggs equals in replicated storage. We're actually going to say game.workspace. Game.workspace. Wow. And we're going to take this folder and move it up to a workspace just like that. We should see all the eggs replicate into one spot up here at the top. 
Possibly. They could be in the wrong spot. Oh yeah, there they go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's awesome. So these are all, <laughs> all the eggs. <laughs> but that just won't do. That uh, doesn't compute. Um, <laughs> so let's set them up. Uh, let's see. Let's start out with a part. And that part is going to be set to zero, zero, zero. Um, position is going to be zero, comma, zero, comma, zero, just like that. So there's center. We're going to make our eggs appear just here and we're going to make them go in, uh, in a row. So um, I already know how big this is going to be. So about 140 or negative 140. So let's go back over here to the egg gen. And we're going to do, um, what is it? Egg or new egg dot move move to is it move or move to I can never remember that's why we have the internet Roblox model move to wow I completely spelled Roblox wrong but it didn't carry it's like all right cool uh, move to position moves the model dot primary part to position model dot primary part okay so if we do egg dot move to we're going to need a starting position start pose start pose start pose equals instance dot new vector three wait <laughs> that's wrong vector three dot new <laughs> <laughs> zero comma what like three up in the air three units up comma negative 140 just like that so that's going to be our starting position uh, and move int equals vector three dots new uh, zero comma zero comma minus four so um, what we're going to do is the start pose start pose start pose and just like that we're going to do move to start pose just like that start pose equals start pose plus uh, move int so it should minus four every single time uh, we are going to say new egg dot primary what was that thing it's primary part this right here primary part copy all right new egg dot primary part dot anchored equals true new egg dot primary part dot can collide equals false new egg dot primary part dot orientation orientation equals vector three dot new zero comma zero comma zero that way they are all facing the same direction at all times hmm run it no oh, they are not moving anywhere uh oh i expected this not this uh oh on the move too oh got it okay oh, okay okay no we can do that colon move to so that should give it a second um and short <laughs> did i spell anchored wrong oh my gosh see this is why nobody ever believes that i can't spell anchored 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 a N C H O R E D anchored primary part dot anchored. What is the primary part? I wonder if it has a primary part. Okay. Well, okay. So we know that the eggs themselves, hold on. Let's hit play. Hit play again. We know that the eggs themselves have a primary part that's what the handle is 
Oh, I guess it doesn't. Hmm. Well, let's do this then. Um, notepad. Uh, let's see. It's going to be egg dot mesh part accessory dot handle like that. Uh, yeah, we don't need to save it. Stop. So, um, new egg dot primary part equals. Oops. Any ideas? I have no clue. Equals new egg. There we go. So we we need to set the primary part because it doesn't have a primary part, right? I think you can do that. Can you do that in world? Can collide is not a valid member of part. That's because I forgot an E at the end, and that's because I can't spell like a doofus. <laughs> Can you guys see that? I, I mean, I've been recording this entire time, and that would be embarrassing if you guys couldn't see anything. Oh my gosh. Did we go the wrong direction? Oh, we went the wrong way. Hey, they're all there, though. Look at that. That is a beautiful thing. Hold up. Oh man, <laughs> here are all the eggs. That's nice. And they, they're all non-collide, so we can, we can walk through them this time. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, um, they are going that, that way. They're, they're going the wrong direction. So let's go, let's see. Instead of 140 this direction. Um... Negative 140. Tell you what, let's start them at 140, 140 and go minus four, minus four. No, that's that's still way too far. Let's go, let's go 50. And start at 140. Let's go let's go 120. 140 was off the base plate. Oh, there they are. Yay. I don't like that they're going this direction. I want them side by side. So let's do that. Let's flip flop those numbers and, and make them go the opposite direction. So let's go 120 here and go 50 here. Uh, and we'll go minus four on this side and zero there. Go. So this should be in three dimensional behind us and in order as they're lining up and they're loading in. <laughs> that is awesome. So there we have it. There are all 53 eggs. There's only 49 that you can get. Uh, 50 is the Fabergé egg, 51, no. One through three are the developer's egg, the admin egg, and the star program egg. No, that's the wrong order. Developer, star program, admin. That's the first three. All the rest of these are found in the game, except for the very last one, which is the big, awesome prize. Oh my gosh, look at all these eggs. So pretty. I know that one, that's Tiny Tank, isn't it? Ah, it's awesome. Anyhow, there we go. Uh, and just under, or just over 30 minutes. Not bad. All the eggs, this is, this is the grand prize, this is the big daddy, that's the one. Oh. Okay, so um, there's further things that you could do, okay? If you want to keep a copy of those eggs, hit F5, start it out, let them all load in, and as they do, it'll get finished, done, okay? Go to your workspace while the game is running, right click on real eggs, hit copy, hit stop, Go back into the workspace, right click paste into, and you will have all of your eggs in their model forms where you can make them into hats into your own games if you want. Right there you have it. All of the eggs. <laughs> now, this is not hacking. This is, well, I don't know. Could, could you consider this hacking? Mm. Yeah, you could. 
I mean, that's absolutely reverse engineering something that was given to you. Um, check to see if you can use your, your egg phone inside the other games to navigate because I can see the interface kind of. So like if we hit um, one like that, it starts and there we go. So like you can, you can see these, right? And it's actually got an interface for it. It's got like all the things. So it is, it is possible and you should be able to like scan through them and it's got all the information just like before, like we pulled up, but it doesn't have the, the names. So <clears throat> I don't know if you want. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end. Thank you so much for watching this um, Let's Make a Game uh, video. Love you guys. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. <gasps> Outro.